Hey, Kimberly. <laughs> yeah, you really need to stop scaring me like that. I mean, I know it's almost Halloween and all, but... I'm gonna buy a new car. Should I go to the credit union now? Oh, funny you should ask that. I was just getting ready to do a video on a few pros and cons of getting your auto loan at the credit union. You wanna have a seat? You gotta take the mask off first, okay? Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly and welcome to Auto Finance Sense where I help you make sense of the dealership finance office the next time you buy a car. Let's get started. So today I'm going to talk about a question that I get asked all the time and that is, Kimberly, should I go to my credit union to get my auto loan? Well, let's go over a couple of pros and cons of doing that. What do you want to do first? Pros, cons, pros, cons, cons, pros. We're gonna do pros first. Okay, one of the pros of using your credit union for your next auto loan is the relationship factor. Many times credit unions have that small town feel where you can walk into the lobby and you can talk to somebody, which unfortunately is kind of rare these days. There are typically not for profit organizations and they're owned by their members. And so it, a lot of credit unions, you do get a different kind of treatment that you do at a large bank. I appreciate that. I really love my credit union. Whenever I walk in there, um, they act like they know who you are. And pro number two for using a credit union for your next auto loan is many times they will have incentivized interest rate discounts. For example, they may have discounts on interest rates for military members. They may also have discounts on your interest rate, maybe a quarter of a point, even up to a half a point, if you have your car payments through automatic withdrawal every month. That way they know that they're getting their payments and you're getting a discount on that rate. There could also be incentives on timely payments, for example. School's first federal credit union says, automatically lower your rate by a half a point for every year you make on-time payments. I just found that one today. So take a look at the fine print on the websites whenever you're doing your credit union internet sleuthing. Another pro that you may find with credit unions is they can often be pretty flexible whenever it comes to model year versus loan terms. And what I mean by that, one credit union might go all the way up to 72 months on a 2018 and newer. Today, whenever I looked at the Navy Federal Credit Union website, it says that they consider new vehicles to be 22, 23, 24 model year with 30,000 or fewer miles. And take a look at the interest rate that they're offering for those terms on a new car. Again, every credit union has different guidelines for their lending. So always take a look at the fine print on their website or simply pick up the phone, ask for an auto loan officer and ask all the questions first. Okay, now let's take a look at some cons when it comes to using credit unions for your next auto loan. Con number one, timing and the extra step. So whenever you finance with a dealership, your paperwork is done there, everything is completed, they handle everything for you with your loan, and you drive off in your car right then and there. However, when it comes to using outside financing with your credit union, what you wanna do is ask all the questions first to both parties. The credit union loan officer, you just wanna ask them, how do you handle it? When will I get the check? I would like to take the check into the finance manager. What do you need from me? Do you overnight the check to the dealership? Then you wanna ask the dealership finance manager, how do you all handle credit unions? Do you accept overnighted checks or do you want me to bring the check in to you? Some dealerships will accept wires. Um, personally, however, I don't like wires. Our dealerships stop doing them because I've seen so many nightmares happen. They get lost. They don't come through on time. It takes days. It's on a weekend. Um, they don't go to the right department. And so most dealerships will avoid wires. But 
still it's something that you want to inquire about. The best way is if the credit union can cut you a check for the exact amount that day so you can take it right into the finance manager to sign the rest of your paperwork. But here's the thing, it may be a con, but listen, if the credit union gets you f more favorable terms and you're saving money and with interest rates being where they are today, it is worth every single penny to just get your ducks in a row ahead of time. That way, when you get the answers and clarification of how the dealership handles credit union checks and how the credit union handles it, it's going to make things so much easier and faster for you whenever you get to the dealership finance office. All right, con number two, and that is the advance. What do I mean by the advance, the loan to value? Maybe you've heard some credit unions say, we loan up to 100% or we loan up to 125%. Now I will say with the pricing of cars in this crazy market, I've seen higher advances now from credit unions than I ever did before. I'm seeing 130%, which is really good, but it's because of the price of cars and negative equity, um, they're trying to help you out. So. For example, when I looked on Penn Fed's website today, here's what it says. Loan amounts up to 150,000 get up to 125% financing. So that doesn't mean that you can just walk in and buy a $150,000 vehicle. You need to pay attention to the loan to value amount. If you're rolling in negative equity from a trade vehicle, that's just gonna jack that amount up and your credit union might not allow for that. Um, something you wanna check out, it's good to know how much money you plan on putting down to get that loan to value amount down. Now a dealership finance manager has relationships with their indirect lending banks and many times can push the limits on this if they have to. Uh, because they have so many different banks that they work with. But for credit unions, they're pretty strict about this most of the time. Something that you wanna check into. What is the loan to value or the advance? How much will they loan against the value of this car? On a new car, it's typically MSRP. And on a used car, it'll be a book value. Maybe it's NADA book value, it depends on the credit union. Okay, and con number three when it comes to getting your auto loan from the credit union is some credit unions have tighter guidelines whenever it comes to your credit. Some credit unions, for example, won't even entertain providing a loan to someone that has um, under a 690 credit score or a 680 credit score. Some credit unions simply aren't as flexible as say what the dealership finance manager could get you again because of their relationships. But these are questions that you wanna ask and discuss with the auto loan officer at the credit union first before they pull your credit. Now, one good thing is that if you look on some websites for credit unions, many of them will have a soft pull on your credit where they won't actually um, do a hard pull on your credit. Read the fine print though. Make sure that that's what's happening. Know your credit first and then ask the questions before you follow through. Yes, you can usually go ahead and apply even though you don't know what the vehicle is yet. But, um, you know, I would wait until I got a little closer and really kind of honed in on the vehicle that I want. It simply helps them out to put a loan structure together for you. So the more you know, the more information that you gather before you actually hit the apply button and get that hard uh, hit on your credit, the better it is for you and for the credit union so they can help you out. So for those of you that made it this far to the end of the video, congratulations. Trust me, I realize that automotive finance is not the sexiest topic out there, but I have a little tidbit to help you out. A little knowledge drop, if you will. 
there's something called a lobby rate. This is what credit unions offer you if you just walked into their lobby and asked for an auto loan. They're going to give you the interest rates that they advertise. However, if that credit union is connected with the dealership you're going to, many times, not all, they offer indirect lending with buy rates, B-U-Y rate. What is a buy rate? A buy rate is a lower interest rate um, that comes over on your approval before the finance manager marks it up. So let's say that the credit union provides a 5% interest rate for 48 months um, on your approval. Well, the finance manager may be able to mark it up one point, two points. It depends on the credit union's guidelines. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. The lobby rate may be the same as the indirect lending buy rate to the finance manager, but let's do a little they say, you say. So they say to you, oh, we're connected with that credit union. And you say, great, I would like your buy rate if you get buy rates rather than the lobby rate that the credit union offered me. And if those two are the same, then find me your best buy rate. Of course, the finance manager doesn't have to do this, but by dropping that knowledge, it helps to build your confidence first and foremost, and kind of turn the tables on them a little bit because you're not the average person. All of a sudden, the finance manager has somebody in front of them that knows what they're talking about. And trust me, that changes everything. Thank you so much for being here. I do plan on going more in depth as I make more videos, but this is brand new and <laughs> I just can't say thank you enough for being here. If you don't mind doing the youtube -y things like hitting the like button, subscribing, and maybe a notification bell whenever I put out new videos, you guys are awesome. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'm gonna start pulling questions and using them to make videos as well. But have a great day. Bye-bye.